This is our final project for programming. The GUI interface that we created is a ballistic calculator for the comparison and trajectories of three different caliber bullets. We have three options with drop down menus, and each drop down menu has the same list of caliber bullets. Uh, we have a box here where you can type in the yardage that you would like the bullet to travel, and hitting this compare button, all of our Equations are executed, which calculate the drop in inches, the muzzle energy, and then down below a plot with points representing a drop with unchanged in velocity and a line that represents the drop in slight change in velocity over a distance with average wind, which means if a bullet is traveling at 3,000 feet per second from the muzzle around 300 yards, it will be much less than that. So that takes that value into account. And I put a note down here saying that all values for each caliber are based on a zero at 50 yards. So at 50 yards, the drop is near zero. It's very, very close, near uh, one hundredth or a thousandth of an inch. Um, if loops are used to uh, import the values of each of the calibers, each one has different sectional densities, mass, ballistic coefficients, and muzzle velocities. And the equations solve for time it takes the bullet to go to a distance, and then it uses that time in the drop equation to figure out how far it drops. And then muzzle energy is calculated in foot pounds. So to show how it works, we can select three different caliber bullets that you would like to compare type in a certain yardage that you would like, let's say 100 yards, and hit compare. As you can see, the three points are on the plot as well as it is graphing the motion of the bullets as they are fired. Uh, these outputs, this is the drop in inches for each different option with the respective caliber that was selected and the muzzle energy that each of those calibers has. You can switch one or two of the calibers to show something else and maybe type in a different yardage, hit compare again, and it'll run the program. And it'll show you the difference in the change. And as you can see, the points are slightly higher up in each value because they don't take into account slight headwinds and a change in velocity as they are fired. That's pretty much our program. Thanks for watching.